Good morning, how are you lot? Are you all alright? Oh, it's nearly Christmas. Getting excited. Anyway, we're at our destination where we was going. If you can see out the window. Don't know if anyone can guess where we are and who we're with. But we're going to get dragged around the shops today. We're going up the road to a little seaside town. Well, not a little seaside town. It's got a big one. Do a bit of shopping. Get a bit of festiveness in us. And uh, go get some fish and chips. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. And show you where we are and who we're with. We're at Mablefall in the winter. What an experience. It's like, have you seen that film 28 Days Later? When it's sort of, the world's empty and everyone's zombies and there's only a few people alive. They don't know what's going on. That's what it's like here. It's well funny. I don't think Dan likes it very much. <laughs> oh dear. Basically just spent a load of money in a tat shop on tat. So is Sammy. Oh dear, oh dear, look, look. Shut, 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 shut. Shut, 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 shut. Shut. How exciting. Christmas at Meeblethorpe. Here she is, what you got? I've got some pens. Got some cat. And I've got a hairbrush and some hairbands. And look who's bought a big bag of tat. <laughs> hey! I bet yours didn't cost 30 quid, did it? There she is, look. <laughs> no, lovely Mazzy. <laughs> lovely Dave. 30, 30, 30 quid. quid worth of tat. Not impressed? I'm not impressed, no, because it's all her tat. £30.10p, actually. 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 <laughs> Come on, let's go and find something good. It's going to be hard. Oh my god. Oh well, it's got us out yeah, got us out of the van for a little while. Stand there. They're in Greg's getting a pie. Pie. But yeah, there's literally nothing open here. Well, there's a few bits and pieces open. Something to do, get us out of here, get us out of the van as I said. There's uh, little Trotters Traders Incorporated over there. DIY shop, that's a great big uh, animal association. What? Shut. It's one good thing, it's not too peopley, but there's a reason for that. <laughs> okay. Did you enjoy that? Dan, did you enjoy it? No. Oh. Cost me a fortune. Did you enjoy it, Mazzy? Yeah, it was real good fun. Raven, did you enjoy that? Sammy? Oh, I did. Me and Dan never. So back from Mabel Fault. A bit glum now. Well, it is winter. And I'm just doing, as you can see, might be, yeah, hang on. There you go. Just doing a chicken keema curry. Chicken and chickpea. I'm just browning all the uh, chicken mints off now. I will usually get chicken mints in the van. Chicken or turkey mints, I like that. So at the moment I've just put some of this in. What is it? To fry that off, medium spice paste. And I've got some courgettes, a pepper, some mushrooms, and that's a mild chilli there. And I've got some pasanta, um, sieved tomatoes, and a can of chopped tomatoes. A little bit of curry paste, some turmeric, and I've put a couple of cardamoms and a couple of cloves in there so far. Just fry that lot off. Look at that. Mm. So the onions have been frying first. Always put the onions in first, get them caramelised. Now, doing your mint, cut that into little bits. 
so it's not fine mint, it's still more like chunky mints, if you know what I mean. I'll put the Santa in, chop tomatoes, everything else, and then we're going to bung it in the slow cooker all day. That'd be lovely tonight. And I think I've got some stuff to help Dan out with today. A couple of bikes or something, I think. I'll show you that. But I thought I'd get all this prepped in the morning, put it in the slow cooker, and then tonight, just got to do a bit of rice. Nice and ready now. I'll put a bit more of the spice paste into taste. Right, let me do the other bits and I'll get back to you. There we go. There's the peppers, the chili, mushrooms, and the cool drips in there. Got to stir around. And my beautiful assistant Sammy is just getting our slow cooker out. It's a one and a half litre slow cooker. I'll show you that in a minute. And that does us about two meals really. Oop. So, I ain't making mess. Even though I'm a messy person, I ain't making mess. Clean up as I go. You've got to clean up as you go in the van. Otherwise, you end up buried in it all. So, yeah. Easy curry to do this. And then I said, you don't really need to leave it in a slow cooker all day. Oh, that's nice already, really, doesn't it? Pour that in. And chuck tomatoes. There we go, that's it. Now I've got my ginger puree and my garlic paste in after I've put the fluid in. If you put ginger in before um, garlic in before you put your fluids in, it tends to go bitter. So when you put your fluids in, that's when you put some garlic paste in. And I use these in the van. They last for ages and they're easy to use. I've got a chocolate load of garlic up. So. I might have a bit of garlic. Put the old vampires away. Stir that in. I'm just prepping it really, getting it hot up to temperature and then I'll put it in a slow cooker. And a bit of ginger. Everyone likes a bit of ginger, don't they? Very tasty and simple. There we go. Right, if it needs more water, I'll put stock in there. But I've got these chickpeas, I'm going to plop them in now. And then, really, you don't really have to have any rice with this, it's like an all in one. Carbs and veg and that chicken mince. Easy to eat. So if you just want to eat it out of a bowl with a naan bread or something, you can do that. Oh, look at that, it looks lovely already, doesn't it? Yum, yum, yum. Now it's all bubbling away nicely. I'll turn it down a bit. Now I'm going to put some of this in. You can put mango chutney, but this is hot garlic pickle. It's like a hot mango chutney. And I'll get that from Norfolk. When I go to Norfolk, in uh, near Wavell. A couple of teaspoons for that in there. And that just gives it that nice sweet mango chutney toast. My dad does a lovely curry with um, lentils and sweet potato and he puts mango chutney in that. Oh that's nice. Isn't it? There we go, there's a little Andrew James slow cooker. She's all in there now, put a lid on in a minute. But it's this lozenge shape. 
and it goes in the cupboards much better than a round one and that sounds weird but it does it just fits in there better and that's got off high low auto on now there we go the chickpeas are in Oh, I'm flipping freezing. It's cold out there. Just been over to see the gang. Sammy's there playing a game. Nice all stuff. snuggled up and flipping warm and freezing. Oh, just took a bowl of curry over. It's down in Mares, look. Oh, it's all done now. Look at that. Oh, I've stinged you all up. Anyway, just a little video to tell you where we are and what we're up to. Look at Christmas lights, it's all Christmas in here. It's Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, it's flipping windy outside. About 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts. It's horrible. Someone's birthday, I don't know. So, we've made, look at our little Christmas tree. Look. Sammy did. So we made a birthday boy, Grotto. His tongue cut, you see out there? See that? That is. Oh, nice. So he's doing the washing up. Who done, girl? And there's my Buddhas. Lucky Buddhas. So, we're waiting. For him to come over to start the party, start the birthday festivities. Should be a laugh. Right, managed to survive Dan's birthday. If you want to see how that went, pop over to the Travel Trolls and have a look at his video. But we're in Alford at the moment, picking up some last minute bits and then back to the van. So I thought I'd show you around here for a little while. Let's give you a look at what's here. This car park we're in is free free car park right in the middle of the town centre so I'm just gonna have a little mooch around the shops Let's see what's about oh. Hello. there she goes so this is literally beautiful church here but this is literally like I don't know 10 minutes from the campsite Windmill Pet and Tackle. There's a couple of little restaurants here. Little uh, supermarket there, little news agents, barbers. There's a cafe over there. There's a nice greengrocer's there, that's really nice in there. Got all fresh produce, looks like locally grown. But I thought I'd give you a quick look round here before I get you back to the van and Say Merry Christmas and but Sammy's in here, look. Shouldn't have flipping element, look. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, good. Oh, good. Queen Victoria. Not drinking water. Mm. Have to get a cake. It's nice to come to somewhere that's free parking. You ain't got to worry. Uh, not a bad little town, as I say. Just come in here, get your bits and bobs if you're at the nurseries. Mm, cakes. So opposite that market. Craft Market Centre. Got this fishing tackle shop and pet shop. Loads of fishing tackle in there, and next to it, the Chinese. Don't know what it's like. It's reasonable though. To say there's a pizza place down there. Ours is so cheap here. A nice bungalow for 280 grand. You get a shed where I live for that. Unbelievable. There's a Greyhound Sanctuary charity shop here. They've just given Raven a, a Christmas present, haven't they, Raven? Hey, good Christmas present. So, 
just having a little walk down here and then we're going to go on a DIY shop because I've always got to go on a DIY shop. Ah, Christmas present raven. Come on in. Off we go. Right, back in the van. Had to have some chippies before we come. Had a little, a little bag of chips. Shared it with Raven and, well, Sammy as well, obviously. But and a nice little bag of chips. That was lovely. A little treat for lunchtime. So back at the Gladys. Got the old Christmas tree flashing. Look at that. It's amazing. Sammy did that. It's a clever girl. But I'd just like to thank you all for all your support and making my YouTube channel exactly what it is today. You really, really do make me smile. With all your comments, all your lovely super thanks. You're amazing people. Yeah, just great. And I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and an absolutely superb New Year. Again, we're going to go off from here on the 28th. We're heading up north, even further, heading towards Scotland. But I was going to tell you where we're going, but I'm going to leave it as a surprise. But maybe I'll have a couple of videos out before New Year's. Maybe not. Might just have a bit of a break, come back to it fresh in New Year. But all you guys make my YouTube channel. So thank you all very, very much. Again, all the money's for it. I'm all going to Mind, Mind Charity to help people that are suffering from poor mental health. Which is a, a charity very close to my heart. And we probably all need them one day. They're self-referral, just go down there, phone them up, and they help you. So, you don't have to worry. They're very, very kind and caring people. So, if you ever are in the trouble where you need them, just give them a shout. Pop down there, and they will help you out. Other than that, it's 111, option 2, crisis 2. And a lot of people need it at this time of year. But anyway, thanks for my making my YouTube channel very special. I've done this about 30 times because I can't talk at the moment. And, uh, yeah, you take care of yourselves. I'll catch up with you real soon. You stay safe. You stay sane. Journey well. Enjoy nature. And uh, what she brings to you. Oh, at the end, I'll put up some pictures. I've got some pictures of um, the rainbow clouds or the mother, and, mother of pearl clouds that flew past the other day. I put some pictures already on my community page, but I'm going to put, in, put a little video that I got up at the end so you can see it. What an amazing natural phenomenon that was. Absolutely amazing to see. Mazzy noticed it. Dan was out there. He texted me, get out quick. So we were talking about it a couple of days beforehand. Dan's birthday was a blast. We were out Christmas Day to a dog-friendly pub for our Christmas lunch. Happy days. No washing up afterwards. Have a few beers and a bit of Christmas festivity. Got some games and that sorted out. Got Sammy's done a pass the parcel. But uh, yeah, great fun. If you want to see Dan's birthday party where we're all going, yay, all the way through it, pop over to the Travel Trolls. They're fantastic people. They got me from a Christmas present already, a great big box of seafood. How would they know I like seafood, eh? Great big box of seafood. It turned up yesterday, they brought you over. They're a couple of smashers, they really are. They're really good friends. We've got a lot coming up with them. So, I hope you enjoy all that too. Good fun. We have a lot of fun when we're together. But I've already had some a big plate of prawns and shrimps yesterday and some crevettes, big tiger prawns. Have a look at that. And uh, I had a crab for my breakfast, dressed crab for my breakfast. And I got a lobster for my tea. And also some other stuff in the freezer that I'll, uh, I'll defrost later on for a treat. Probably my Boxing Day treat. But what a thoughtful gift. Lovely. Thank you very much, my darlings. You're very kind. Anyway. There we are. That's it. That's the end of this year's YouTube channel. Videos, if I don't get one up again. But anyway, as I said, you look after yourselves. Love to you all. Take care. I'll see you soon. Oh, and that's from Sammy and Raven too. Sammy? Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Take care. Bye!
this year. All your comments, all your super thanks, they're amazing. That's going to go really, really well for my... Uh, 